This is my multi-level elevator, and I'm gonna show you guys how to build it. First, I'll show you how it works, then we'll get the first level built, and then I'll show you how to turn that into a multi-level. My goal with these designs is to make something really cool, but also something that's really easy to replicate through these tutorials. So be sure to subscribe for even more tutorials, and if you have an idea that you want me to build, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. So thanks to the new activated balloons, it makes for a really smooth elevator. So for this, the first level, we're just gonna activate this switch, and it's gonna activate enough balloons to take us up to the next level. So now that we're on the second story, I have even more thrusters placed up here and on the side of the platform that are gonna push it sideways. So these balloons that we originally activated are still trying to pull us up. So when I activate this switch, it's gonna turn on these thrusters, which are gonna push us into this slot and then we'll continue to go up. So here we go. And now we're on the second level or the third story. And then to get back down, we just unactivate these balloons and we'll drop back down to here. And now I have these two switches and they kind of do the same thing. So because these balloons are still deactivated, if I were to push this platform to the side, it's gonna drop straight down to the first level. However, I thought about what if I wanted to stay on the second level from the third level? So this switch activates the thrusters to move us over, but it also reactivates these balloons at the same time, so we stay on the second level. So here's what it looks like when we wanna to go to the first floor. And then here's what it looks like if we wanna stay on the second level. And then from here, we can just deactivate the balloons and go back down to the first level. Now that you have an idea of how this works, let's get it built. All right, so to get started, the first thing I do is throw down a 16 by 16 floor, and this is pretty much gonna start as our guide. Now for the walls of the elevator shaft, there's probably a lot of different walls you can use. You just need to make sure that the inside doesn't have any pieces sticking out like this. So for example, this piece would be okay. It has an indent, but it doesn't have any pieces sticking out. And then again, if you use this wall, if it were facing this way, it wouldn't really work. But if you faced it outwards, you could get it to work. For simplicity and because they're free parts and everybody should have them, I'm gonna be using these castle walls from the Majestic Manors. I'm mostly gonna be using the two by two, the two by four, the two by six, the two by eight, and the two by 12. The first thing we're gonna do is snap a two by 12 to the floor piece like this. And then while we're holding down snap, we wanna nudge it one space backwards and then one space to the left, and then we're gonna place it. Now on the right side, we're gonna take the castle wall three or the two by six, and we're gonna snap it directly to the right of that. Then we're gonna switch to the castle wall two or the two by four and snap that to the left. From here, go back to the two by 12, and then we wanna nudge it so it's lined up just like this, and we're gonna place it. Same thing for the other side. Then we're gonna switch to the castle four or the two by eight and snap one to each side just like this. Then we need the castle wall one or the two by two, and we're gonna nudge it into place just like this, and then the same thing for the other side. So as you can see, what we did was create a one stud gap going all the way around this platform. Now that we have our initial outline for the elevator shaft, go ahead and build this up as high as you'd like. On my build over here, I went three spaces high and then the fourth space was the opening. And then if you go more than one space up, just be sure to fill in the space where the door would be. Once you get to the level that you want the elevator to stop at, just open up one of the sides just like you did on the bottom. For this build, I'm doing this opening on the opposite side of the bottom one. So right now, the first space is the bottom opening and then there's one, two, three spaces and then the fourth space up is the second opening. The next thing we need to do is just cover up the top and now for this, this is something I should have mentioned for your ground floors that you're building on. Don't build with these shack floors. They're extremely weak. Same with some of the wood floors, they could end up breaking. So to play it safe here, use floors that are made of granite. So again, right here, you wanna probably use granite because if your elevator comes down, even if it has balloons slowing it down, it could end up breaking it. So here I'm gonna start with a 16 by 16 wide floor and line it up with the bottom right corner, just like this. From here, I'm gonna go to the two by 16 and we're just gonna snap three of those going out. And on the other side, we're going to snap another three of them going outward. Then we're going to switch to the six by two, and we're just going to snap three of those right there. One thing worth mentioning is that the dimensions of this whole elevator shaft are 22 by 22 studs. 
So before we build the second part of the elevator shaft, we're going to build the actual elevator. First step is just to place a large dynamic foundation on that original floor piece we placed. If you accidentally push it, don't worry, you could just break it and then build it again. So once you have it placed, just hop on. The first step is we need this palatial pillar one, and then we want to place that in the corner, but one space back. And then we're just going to do this to all four corners. So as you can see, there's a one stud gap running around the pillars. Now we're going to move to the activated balloons. And here here we want to look to the right of the pillar on the space here and then move it one space to the right and then place it and then we want to do the same thing for every pillar so we're going to put one there there and there so they're a little offset but they are evenly distributed next we're going to go to the regular small balloons and then we want to place one on the corner here and then one on the opposite corner right here so these balloons aren't enough to lift us up but when the elevator comes back down we're not going to slam down to the ground and then these pillars not only do they serve as the holding place for the thrusters but they're also going to stop the elevator at the perfect height next let's add our activation switches the first one i'm going to place on the right side and again leaving a one stud gap right here the next one is also going to be on the right and then it's going to be on the left side of this pillar and then we're going to do another one on the right side of this pillar just a little bit lower these are the two that are going to bring us back down so this is the one that keeps us at the second level and this is the one that brings us back down to the ground then on the left side and the left side of this pillar we want to switch right here then we want to go to the small thruster and then we want one on the inside of all of these pillars so there here there and there so now it should look like this now again don't move this dynamic foundation because what we're going to do right now is break out the left wall the reason we need to do that is because we need access right here we want one thruster directly under the pillar here and one thruster directly under the pillar here then we're going to do the same thing on the right side just be careful that you don't push this around right now so small thruster there and small thruster there now real quick before we do this next step just go ahead and de activate all the thrusters just so we don't make a simple mistake here so just make sure all these thrusters have X's so stay with me here there's a reason for all this so this activation switch goes to all the channels but the only thing linked to it right now are these balloons on channel 4 because we just deactivated all the thrusters so now when we activate this switch it's gonna bring us up to our second level the reason we need to do this is because thrusters after you place them they can phase through anything without any friction so we just needed to move those out of the way so that way we can replace these walls so now we're just going to move these walls back into place just like that now we're going to go back into the elevator shaft and deactivate the balloons so now those thrusters we just placed are inside the walls but they're not going to cause any friction so now this is where we need to wire everything correctly so unless you know how to do this yourself pay attention so again these activated balloons are already on channel four so this switch right here i really only want it to activate these balloons so i'm going to deactivate all of these except for channel four so now just this switch activates just these four activated balloons now for the thrusters so this one this one that one down there and that one down there are going to push us left so for the thrusters on the left i'm going to put those on channel one so all the ones that are facing this way we need to have on the same channel and don't worry these ones down here you should be able to get to so that one we just changed to channel one and then this one we also need to change to channel one so there's four thrusters that are now on channel one and then this switch is going to be the one that activates them so this one we need to deactivate these ones and only allow channel one so again this switch is on channel four that activates the balloons this switch is on channel one which activates the thrusters which will push us left now we're going to do the same thing with the thrusters that push us right so this one i'm going to go on channel two because we haven't used that one yet and then this one we need on channel two and then again the ones down here you should be able to click on them pretty much through the wall so that one's on channel two this one's on channel two so that's one two three and four that are now on channel two okay so these thrusters are both going to be linked to channel two but we're going to start with this one on the bottom right and we're going to make sure that's just linked to channel two so this is just going to activate the thrusters that are on the right side now this one on the left side that we have a little bit higher this one we want linked to channel two and channel four and just to reiterate the reason we have two switches here is because this one that's up higher is going to keep us on level two if we want to stay on level two whereas this switch is going to bring us all the way down to the ground floor 
Now that we have everything wired correctly in the actual elevator, it's time to build part two of the shaft. So just make sure your elevator is at the bottom. And then on the left side, we're going to break out this wall here. Now we need to break out a second level from this side. And then what we need to do is go to walls and scroll all the way down to the half walls. And then we're just going to fill it in with matching half walls. So just like this. Then we're going to go to floors and we want the 12 by 2 castle floor. Stack that one, two, three, four five high then we're going to switch to the two by six and do the exact same thing just stack it five high then we're going to go back to the two by 12 castle wall and we want these to stick out from right here then we're going to go to the two by eight and snap that out even more and then we're going to go to the two by two and top that off then back to the 12 and just snap that going this way then we just need the two by six to fill that all the way in then from there we just need to go back to the half walls and then fill this in underneath so now that we have all that filled in, we're going to go back to the 16 by 16 floor, snap that to this piece, and then nudge it over until it turns green. Then go to the 2 by 16, snap it to the left side here. And then on this side, we snap a 2 by 12 here, nudge it over, and then do another one right here. Then we switch to the 2 by 6 and just snap that there and there. And this is all filled in now. So now when you activate these balloons and go up to this level, now this platform is right at this level and it's ready to slide over. And since we haven't finished this part of the roof yet, do not activate these thrusters. So let's take us down back to the bottom. And then again, to continue upwards, we're just gonna continue this pattern. So to start, we're gonna go with a wall here, right next to the top of this one, then build that all the way across. And now just fill this in for however high you'd like. So again, I'm gonna go up one, two, three more spaces. So now that I'm at the level I want, I'm just gonna make an opening just like I have for all the other openings. And then here, we're gonna repeat the process we did right over there. So we're gonna go to a 16 by 16 floor, line that up at the bottom right corner and place it then go to the 2 by 16 and snap that three outwards going in both directions just like this then go to the 6 by 2 and snap three of those to fill in the rest of it and now if we have done everything correctly we should be able to go all the way up to the second level so there's the first level so we should hit this thruster and then that'll move us over and then these balloons will continue to bring us upwards to this level here. Then we just deactivate the switch to go back down. And again, these are where these two switches are very important. So this switch is gonna keep us on level two. This switch is gonna bring us back down to the ground. Now again, this is pretty much the most basic version of this possible and you can use tons of different walls and windows. You just gotta watch out for the friction from the pieces that end up sticking out on the inside of the shaft. And then hopefully I explained this thoroughly enough as I was going through it that you can kind of modify and make a bigger one or make it go in different directions. Another thing you can do is start to fill in these areas down here and up here just to make it look a little bit more cohesive so it's not a squiggly line. And again, now that you understand the basic concept of this, you could break out this wall, have it come back over and up another level. Also, you don't have to do three whole stories in between each elevator opening. You can do one space up, over, one space up, over, one space up, and over, and make it as many stories as you want. The thing I'll be working on next, however, is working on a bigger version that is a vehicle lift. So if that was helpful, be sure to subscribe because I'm always cooking up really cool stuff in my sandbox world to put into my survival. So if you see anything here that you want me to make a tutorial for, leave it down in the comments.